Hi guys, my name is Marcelo Castellanos. I'm a holistic surf coach and director of Puro Surf Performance Academy in El Salvador. And today I want to share with you a few tips that are going to help you to take your surfing to the next level. So today we're going to talk about something very, very basic and that's the pop-up. That's one of the things that you learn on your first surf lesson, but it's something that you're going to be doing your whole life and that's why it's so important and you have to make sure that you're doing it right. One of the most common mistakes that I see in people that have been surfing for a long time is that they're not doing the right pop-up. Most of the people don't want to pay attention to that because that's just for beginners and that's a big mistake because that's a foundation and you always have to work on your foundations and you have to make sure that you have good foundations in order to be a good surfer. So today we're gonna talk about those common mistakes and when you're doing the pop-up and you're not landing on the center of the board so this is the center of the board your feet should land like right on the center if your back foot is landing close to the rail or your front foot then you will have to compensate by putting your hands and arms and posture in a weird position and that's gonna look bad and also it's not gonna work because what you want is to turn left and right by doing rotation. And to be able to do a good rotation, you have to have a good posture. And in order to make that uh, work, you have to be on the center of the board. So you can make that rotation and then you're gonna put weight on the rails and you're gonna be able to go left or right. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're landing on the center of the board. You can do a test and you can use a board. You can take off the pins and put it on the floor on top of a mat, or you can grab a piece of tape and put the tape on the floor, creating like a, like a T, and uh, you can just practice and see where you're landing. If you're not landing on the center of the board, I'm sure that that's where you're landing when you're surfing. So you can fix that outside of the water. That's the best place where you can fix that because you can do a lot of repetitions and you can create muscle memory. This is something that people that have been surfing for a long time should do. And also for beginners, that's also something that they should be working on because you wanna learn the right way and you don't wanna create bad habits and then you will have to go back and fix those bad habits. So make sure that you're working on your foundations, make sure that you have a good pop-up and you're landing on the center of the board and from there you're gonna start working on another thing uh, which is the positioning of your back foot on the board so for the ones with more experience there's different place where you can put your back foot on the board so we have this area here like really close to the tail and the closer you are to the tail the less stability and less speed you're gonna have sometimes that's what you want you want less stability so you can move your board, you can pivot to make maneuvers, okay? Uh, another spot where you can put your back foot is right here. On this spot, you're gonna have more speed and more stability, okay? So if you wanna make a section, you wanna pump on the wave, you can put your back foot here. And another spot could be like super forward on your board. Here, you're gonna have a lot of stability and you're gonna have a lot of speed sometimes you if you want to make a barrel that's what you want you want speed and stability but you have to make sure that you are aware on where you're putting your back foot on the board in order to be able to do what you want to do on the wave uh, one of the most common mistakes that i see is people's not landing on the center of the board but let's say that you're landing right on the center of the board sometimes people do the pop-up they land like around here because they feel stability and they feel that they have speed or they can create speed, but then they, they don't move their back foot. So if they're not moving on the board, when they try to do a, a turn, it's not gonna work because you're in a, on an area of your board where you have stability and speed, but it's gonna be really hard to pivot and you're gonna dig rails when you try to do that turn. So you have to be aware on where you're putting your back foot and of course when you move your back foot you're gonna move your front foot too you can have a average stance not too wide not too narrow 
if you land here from here you can slide your back foot and you don't have to move your front foot because that's that's okay it's not too too wide but if you land here and you move your back foot then you're gonna be on a really wide stance and it's not gonna look good and it's not gonna feel good so you will have to move so the best place to land on your board will be maybe here and from here you can move your back foot or you can even land like right on the tail if you want to do maneuvers if you want to do a, a barrel or a section where you need a lot of speed and stability you can land forward on your board but that depends on what you want to do on the wave what it's important is to make sure that you are aware of where are you putting your feet on the board and make sure that you're landing on the center and from there you can start like moving your back foot on the board and you're gonna be able to uh, start like doing those those turns that you feel that you never can do because you're digging rails or the board's not moving so when the board is not moving what what happens a lot is if you if we are too forward on the board and we try to do a turn we gonna start like bending forward and because if the board doesn't turn we're gonna bend bend forward too much and then we're gonna fall forward and it's because we're not putting our back foot on the right spot if we are on the right spot we're just gonna start the rotation we're gonna bend a little bit and the board is gonna turn and we're gonna be able to go where we want to go so as you see pop-up it's a very basic thing it's something that people think that it's just for beginners but actually it's one of the things that you really have to work on uh, to be able to perform better your surfing and uh, also just as an exercise to do pop-ups outside of the water it's, it's a great exercise because you're gonna develop those muscles that are involved on that technique and that's gonna give you confidence and then when you go out uh, you're gonna be able to surf uh, faster waves, uh, waves that are hollow and you're gonna feel very very comfortable you're not gonna doubt in your mind like uh, I'm gonna wipe out or this is gonna happen I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna feel confident because I've been doing it many many times outside of the water and I already have that muscle memory in my brain so right now I'm gonna show you a few drills on things that you can do to improve your pop-up outside of the water I'm gonna show you how to do that test and uh, so you can make sure that you're landing on the center of the board so check it out now we're gonna do that test to make sure that we are landing on the center of the board uh, we can use a board without fins and put it on the floor on top of a mat or we can use a piece of tape you just have to do a straight line and at the end put another piece of tape so you can create like a T uh, or you can use a mat like this with the shape of the board if you don't have a mat like this it's okay that's not an excuse to not do it just make sure that you do this test because this could be the difference between staying on the same level or going to the next level you just have to lay down on the board make sure the center of the board is on the center of your body and we're just gonna do a pop-up and we're gonna find out if we're landing on the center or not so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna look forward hands next to my ribs inhale I do the pop-up I'm landing on the center of the board but if you're not do it many times do it at least five times so you're gonna find out what's really going on normally what you do outside of the water or where you're landing outside of the water that's what you're doing when you're surfing so you can start fixing this thing and you have to make sure that you land on the center of the board every time if you fix that outside of the water you're gonna be able to go out there and do it the same way now next thing we're gonna work on is the positioning of your back foot so normally when we're piling uh, we are too forward on the board because it's easier to catch the wave because we already have weight on the nose of the board to go down the wave but that's also one of the reasons why we land too forward on the board so a little tip or something that you have to do or you can do is make sure where your knees are because normally where your knees are is where your back foot is landing so if you want to land close to the tail so you can start doing maneuvers make sure that your knees are close to the tail 
and just compensate that weight by pushing with your chest on the nose of the board so you can go down. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the mat and we're gonna make sure and we're gonna see where our knees are. Okay, my knees are on the pad of the board. I'm gonna put my hands next to my ribs. Look forward, legs together, inhale, exhale. And that's an easy way to fix and to be more aware on where your back foot is gonna land. And you can practice outside of the water. And when you go out, that's gonna help you to land where you wanna land. The next drill that we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on a regular pop-up. There's different ways on how you can do a pop-up. I'm gonna show you one today. And the idea is to always make sure that you are on the center of the board, legs together, looking forward. Another common mistake that I see all the time is that people is looking down. So when you look down, you don't have enough room to put your front foot because my back is curved forward like this so I don't have enough room to my front foot. If I'm looking forward, then I have more room to bring my front foot forward. Okay, another common mistake is people put their hands under the shoulders and that's the same thing. You don't have enough room to bring your front foot forward. So we're gonna bring the hands backwards close to my ribs I'm gonna look forward and then I'm gonna do the pop up and I'm gonna have more room for my front foot. I go up and then I go down. Make sure that you're working on your pop up. This is something very, very important. Most of the surfers don't wanna pay attention to this. Everybody wants to go to the next level, start doing maneuvers, but if you don't have a good pop up, if you're not landing on the center of the board, you're not putting your back foot where it should be, depend on what you wanna do, it's gonna be really, really hard to keep improving. So these few drills are something that I really encourage you to do. If you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe, I'm gonna keep doing more videos like this. I'm gonna keep sharing more foundations and maneuvers and tips so you can keep improving and taking your surfing to the next level. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>